Shalom, Yash Allah. I'm going to start by saying all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Yahkakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that teach us well, well, and who well, well. Salutation to the Akiam that's an eyewitness and byways doing this work and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shamashiach Shalom Shalom to this lesson it's about this video I just saw right the, see the fool have said in his heart there is no God, right? Let's watch the video to see how much of a fool the wicked man is. He saw Edom, right? And, and those of our people that follow after them, you so-called black Latinos and American, follow after them, you became like fools and you became wicked children and godly children. Follow after this man, right? Let's get it. And this video is from GMS Austin Man. Bible prophecy. Are you ready for what's next? Okay. It's critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. We want to stop this epidemic. We need not just to monitor people. We need to monitor what's happening under their skin. So far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? In a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. When scanned, all of a person's information about their vaccination status is shown on a reader or phone. Now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. Allah, this man boasting, I've seen uh, the will believe in the most high, right? Free will, but the Bible never talk about free will, anyways, right? This man says it's over to believe in God and the most high, Yahweh, power by Hashem, Yahushai, and that's a wicked man right here, Yash Allah, you so called black Latin or an American. That's why you should run away, far away from this man, right? And one of the scriptures we're gonna burn, right? And some depicted this man really well, right? Psalms 
Psalm 64 verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Yashallah. When you hear this man say something so outrageous, talking so down on, the, on our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Right? You should flee away from this man. Right? So called black Latinos American for our people got a zeal for the Most High and fear. Hey, they hear this man talking this way. They should actually flee away from this man, right? Because all men upon the earth shall fear the Most High power, as you can see. And Esau, Edom, they don't fear the Most High, right? They fear their own belly, right? And this man is talking like there is no God, right? Because it's in him to feel this way, right? Let's go to. Psalm 53. Psalm chapter 53. Uh, to the chief musician upon Mahalaf, my shell is Psalm of David. The fool have said in his heart, There is no God. This man is saying, Forget about what, what, what you learned from the Bible 2000 years ago. Right? Go up, had they. And have done abominable iniquity. There is none that they are good. For them not to acknowledge there is a God. Right? That's it. Abominable things. That's it. Abominable iniquity. And in them, there's no good in them. They have done no good. God, look. The Mosai Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, look down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there's any that did understand. That this is God, as you can see, this man got no understanding, right? He's he, he still trapped in his wet dream that he want to be like the Mosai, right? Every one of them is going back, they all together become filthy. There is none that the good and not one, right? This man is filthy and there's no good in them, right? And there's no good on the wicked man, Esau, Edom. Have the workers of iniquity, no knowledge. You see, this man is working iniquity. So if so, he got no knowledge of the Most High. Who eat up my people as they eat bread. That's what they're doing. They eat up our people as they eat bread. They're doing all those things just to just to be against uh, the righteous people of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. They have not called upon God. They don't call upon God, upon the Most High Yahweh. They're not going to do that. They were there in great fear with no fear was for God. You see? They were, they were there in great fear with no fear was, right? They're not going to put the fear of the Most High in them when they see all those signs, all those things going on, when they cannot explain those things, right? For God have scattered the bones of him that encamped against thee, who has put them to shame. The Lord gonna put those people to shame because God have despised them. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh shall despise Esau Edom, right? And despise that his sons and daughter. Because there's no good in them, right? The soul that's upright, that's not upright in him, right? Let's get our book real quick. quick. This man is boost of his heart desire, right? I will go to verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. But his soul that's up, that's in him, is not upright in him. Is not in him to serve the Most High. Is that in him to call upon the Most High power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right? But we that 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 that, that wanna be trust, that wanna be righteous in the eyes of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh we're gonna live by our faith. We're gonna know that our power existed and that the prophecy are coming to pass, just like you have told us. In being, that's the faith that we are hope. Okay. That's what they were. The faith we have to the most high. This man is have no faith. He saw Edom have no faith. Right? His faith is in the power of his arm, right? In the left side. Right? Let's get on. We're still gonna stay. Yes, it's stay in some, right? Some 10. Psalm 
First Psalm 10, chapter 2, verse 10, chapter 2, Psalm 10, verse 2. The wicked and his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the device they have imagined. See, they imagine those devices, right? And they, per and they, they are about to persecute the poor. Who's the poor? Yash Allah, you so called black like sinners in the American, and our scarlet uh, brothers that and that's on the other nation that look like the other nation, right? They're gonna persecute us, right? They're gonna want us to, to, to take their device, right? To accept their way, to bow down to the image of the beast, to bow down to the system of Esau Edom, right? For the wicked boasted of his heart desire and blessed the covetous, right? You see, he's, this man come out here is boasted of his heart desire. You see, this thing about the free will, this of the most side, the Bible, the thing is over. That's what he said. I mean, he boasted of his heart desire and blessed the covetous. He's covetous, you're going to see more wickedness happening, right? Because he want to be like God, right? He covet the most high. Because he heard of 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 our people the bible talk about the the most powerful power on the universe and you want to be that power and he covet after that right whom the lord are born and the lord hate a covetous man right the wicked through the pride of his countenance will seek not after the Messiah yahweh but hashem al shai is not in all his thought this man as you can see the last man that was talking yahweh power by hashem al shai is not in his thought at all Right, actually, it's done away. It's like it tore the most high away, and this man was if it's, it's so called small hearted, right? They were supposed to be the people of God. That's why they call themselves, right? But the most high is not in there, in all their thought at all. His way are always grievous. Their judgment are far above of his sight. See the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. It's above his sight. You see, when something is too is too high for you, it's too high for a fool. Wisdom, knowledge is too high for a fool. And this man is a fool, right? Because he couldn't seek after the wisdom of the most high. He cannot see with his spiritual eyes what the Bible, what the most high is telling his people. Because it's not for him to know. Because his soul that's in him is not upright in him, right? As for all his enemy, he puff up them, right? The Lord is his enemy. Because the Lord abhor and despise those kind of people, right? And he puff out the most high. You see, his technology is going to be the new God. Human gonna God going to reach the God status, right? He's, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be an adversary. This man is saying, this is what he, all he's saying. When he's saying you're gonna be God, that means nothing gonna happen to you. He's gonna be like the most high. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. That's all he's doing. Vanity and mischief. That's all he has. That's all this man is doing. Vanity, right? And puff his chest. Like he is the most high, which is not right. Let's see what this man is trying to do, right? Let's go to Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first you see there was a call falling away we fall for our statues we fell away from our heritage right for our knowledge of oneself right and that the, that that man of sin be revealed we're revealing this man of sin which is Esau Edom the so-called white man with the small hearts right the son of perdition right the man of destruction that all he bringing right now with all the knowledge he puff that he have all this knowledge all they're bringing is destruction not only to our people but to himself who oppose and exact 
exalted himself above all that is called God. When you inherit the last thing in that video, he puffed on himself, right? He exalted himself above all that is called God, right? And that is worship. See, a lot of people believe in this word of this man saying. If, if you look where we're speaking, there's like thousands and thousands of people and millions of people view those things, right? And they worship this word. They worship everything that man said, right? And they want to see those miracles, right? So that is has God seated in the temple of God, right? Not only they claim to be the people of God, right? That's why they did claim. And now they puffing up, they say, to the technology, they can achieve God level, right? Unlimited God level, right? Power, showing himself that he is a God. That he is God. That's exactly what he's doing, right? You see, yo, I'm going to be a God with the technology that I have. I'm going to reach maximum knowledge. Remember, you're not that when I was yet with you. I told you all these things. It was Paul speaking. He told you all those things coming. Now those things are coming to pass. Right? Let's read Abu chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and I will sit upon the tower and watch to see what he will say unto me and watch I shall answer when I will prove. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that may be one that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end he shall speak and not lie. Though he tarry, wait for it, it will surely come. That's exactly this time we're in right now. Those visions that the Lord has spoken of, they're coming to pass. And that this man is boasting on himself, right? Right? And he sought himself above all that is called God, right? He moved the, it's like he moved God out of the way and say, My way is the way, right? My technology that I have is the way. Of, of the more side to achieve power to achieve knowledge and wisdom right that's exactly what this man have done right let's get another scriptures real quick uh isaiah chapter 14 verse 13 for though i've said in thy heart i will ascend into heaven I will exalt my throne above the star of God. I will sit upon the mountain of the congregation and the side of the north. I will ascend above the height of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. That's what the Spence say. They can achieve knowledge above the Most uh, above God. That's what the man is saying. They're gonna be like the Most High, right? Yet, verse 15, yet those shall be brought down to hell, to the side of the pit. But the Lord going to bring this man down to hell, to a low place, is right? Just like Yasha Allah, you so-called black Latin American, you sit in a low places right now. This man going to come down to a low status. The Lord going to show him that he's not God. He's a man, it's flesh and bones. That's his technology going to be his downfall. Like exactly what's going on right now. Let's go to Psalm. Psalm 2 verse 1. Why do the hidden rage? The people imagine a vain thing. The king of the earth set themselves and the rulers to counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. You see, that's all they're doing right now. The this, this man is speaking and boasting against the Most High, right? He's saying we don't need the Bible anymore. But if the Lord you speak off that the Lord gave you, it's no more. This thing is done away with. We're gonna done away. It's done for. That the Most High is done for. We are to know God. That's what this man is saying, right? Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their curse from us, right? That's exactly what this man is doing. You believe in the Bible. It's, in, it's, it's like it's an abomination in this man's eyes. The wicked man, Esau, Edom. Right? Now this, they want to break our code as soon as they want to take us away from our Messiah. That's why they want to put those, uh, those FIG microchip in us, right? And the brain chip in us, right? He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. 
the Lord shall have them in division. That's exactly what the Lord is doing. The Lord says, when they bring all those things, they're talking about all those consuls they have, the Lord is in the heaven and laugh. Man, look at those dummies out here. Look at those fools out here, man. Think they can, they can be me. Right? Then shall he speak and, unto them and his wife and fix them and he saw displeasure. The Lord is very displeased with those covetous men, with those wicked men. He saw Edom. Right? Yet I will set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Okay? To look and send Yahushua Masha and sell it, set him upon the holy hill, which is Yashallah, right? The holy, the separate, the, the elect sons and daughters of Yashallah, the elect of the elect sons and daughters of Yashallah. That's where Yahushua Masha will be at the top of it, right? I will declare the decree Yahweh have said unto me, Do at my son this day will I be thee. That day the Lord say, Call Yahushua, you are my only begotten son. Today, this day, I have begotten thee. Yes, why Yahushua is called the only begotten son of Yahushua, because he was the first of the creation, right? Because he was there in the beginning with the Mosai doing uh, this creation. Verse 8, ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance, and the outmost part of the earth for thy possession. And that's exactly what this man have done. And why we think this man can boast like that, right? Let's show you why. Because the most I have given the power for him to boast like that, right? So, Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? This man is done away with the Bible, right? He put his face in our book. And now he's turned the book away. Now he's saying he is the Mosai, right? Now he's the judge now, right? Now he got the knowledge, he got the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We don't need the Mosai. That's why he's saying to us, right? And that's exactly what he have done. Not only have done that for 500 years, till now he's boasting because this man is wicked. That's his Esau, Edom, the wicked man. Right? And he said, look at me. I'm going to do all those things. And that's exactly what this man have done. And the Lord going to repent. Right? And that's why we have to pray, Yahshua Allah, that the Lord bring this man down. Right? Psalm 17 and 13, right? The wise of the Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy soul. You see, that's why we have to pray, Yasha Allah, that the Lord cast him down, disappoint him, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy soul. For men which are thy hand, O Lord, for men of the world which have their portion in this life, this man have his portion in this life, whose belly do fill us with, with, thy, with thy hate treasure. They are full of children and leave the waste of their substance to their babes. As for me, right? That's what you should say, Yashallah. You should call black and Native American. You should say, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I will I will sure be satisfied when I am awake with thy likeness. What's the likeness of the Moses? Righteousness. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandment. Be righteous in the sight of the Mosai. Hearken unto his voice. Yashallah. That's why it's as of you, Yashallah, right? Don't let those devils make you bow down to the image of the beast. That's exactly what you're trying to do. Right? When you see these things, right? It's been, uh, that's why he done all those wickedness upon the earth, right? Isaiah 47, right? See, it's all so serious. This is what this man is talking about. Isaiah 47, verse 9. But those two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. 
for the multitude of thy sorceries, for the abundance of thy enchantment. You see, that's what's all our sorceries and enchantments, right? For though I trust in thy wickedness, this means trust in his wickedness, trust in his, uh, his, uh, uh, his technology, his sorceries and enchantment that he has, right? That I've said, and see me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, you have prevented thee. This man claimed that the knowledge that he's going to bring with his technology going to make you like God, right? That's a perfect way of thinking. And though I've said in thy heart, I am and none beside me. They say, I am the man and no one is going to be able to take me down. Because in their mind, they thought, they, they think there's no God. Because the fool I've said in his heart, there's no God. Right? Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shall not know from hence it rise. Evil gonna come upon Esau, Edom, the so called white man, and all the hidden nation that follow after their ways, and, uh, and to our own people that follow after their ways, right? Thou shall not be able to put them, put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, where thou shall not know. Stand now with that enchantment. Verse 12, stand now with that enchantment. They got this, they're gonna have to stand now with that enchantment. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, where Endo has labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shall be able to profit. If so, be thou may as prevail. That's exactly what's going on, Yashallah. With all the sorceries, the enchantment they're doing, are, are they going to prevail? Are they had desire? Uh, since they're boasted of it, they had desire that they have the most high. Are they going to prevail? Hell no. That's God forbid. See? Do I wear with and the multitude of thy consul? They have all those consuls looking at how they can become God and everything like that. Let not the astrologers, the star gazers, the motley poor gnosticators stand up and save thee from those things that shall come upon thee. They see those things that's coming upon them. They see the chariots, right? But like I said, are those things they're talking about, are they gonna be able to save them or the accomplishment they have? Are those things going to be able to, to, to save them? No. Because the Mosai put this man in a slippery place. You see? And this man is erring in every way. Well, brothers and sisters, I hope you will edify. And I'm going to give all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing belong to our power. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahushai Ba'ashem Kakudash. You see? Double honors to the elders, right? Shalom, shalom, abod babo, kwam yashwala.